nothing comes easy in life. Believe me, you know Warren Buffett said, we don't have to be smarter than the rest, we have to be more disciplined than the rest. And with so many distractions like internet, social media, smartphones, fashion and celebrities, discipline is usually the last thing on our minds. But self-discipline is the foundation upon which skills, profession, and life choices are built. Think of where you would be now if you didn't go through the discipline of driving lessons and learning the rules of the road. Similarly, self-discipline is necessary in all other aspects of life, be that education, health, marriage, raising children. Success in all activities depends on being fixed in the discipline required to learn them and to sustain them. So in any endeavor, the rule of thumb is, as much as you put in, that much you can get out. You can't withdraw money from a bank account if you haven't put money into it. But we often face obstacles for discipline, like a lack of motivation or just plain procrastination. So here are four tips to help you on your path, tips you can add to your life right now. One, wake up early. Benjamin Franklin said, early to bed, early to rise, makes one healthy, wealthy, and wise. As a month, I'm programmed to rise before 4 a.m. Rising early may require rescheduling your life, but the benefits of being more focused and more ready to go are extraordinary. Two, add a spiritual dimension to the day. This is a must to enforce your foundation. I've been practicing mantra meditation every day for 50 years. Chanting sacred names two hours every morning brings me to a space free of anxiety and stress and connects me with a deeper dimension, my innermost self. You can start with just 10 minutes a day. Three, stick to your path. A lack of discipline can be due to not knowing where you're going, not knowing your nature, and not knowing your purpose in life. Don't get swayed by details, fads, or what your friends are doing. Do things in line with who you are and keep life simple. Stick to what is fulfilling for you and then anchor to that. Finally, number four, self-control. You need to remove the temptations in life. For example, if you're trying to cut out alcohol, you stay away from bars. Similarly, if you want to be a better person, prioritize whatever it takes to get there. That means detach from things that get in the way. Those may be bad habits, an unfavorable social circle, or a challenging environment. Identify barriers and eliminate them. Okay, that's it. At least that's the beginning. Implement these four steps, see how regulation can transform your life, and then you can build on that further. So either suffer the pains of discipline or suffer the pain of regret. The choice is completely yours. You know which one I chose.